Hey guys, have you ever wanted to have an address line one and an address line two and have that automatically work in your SAP Business One system? There is a way that I like to set up the system and I'm gonna show you that today. But first, my name is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Go to battleshipcobra.com. I have an SQL for SAP Business One course and a Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course. They'll take you from knowing nothing to being awesome with both of those things. They're focused on SAP Business One, so they're not just generic crystal reports or SQL courses. I also have a podcast, podcast.battleshipcobra.com. They're also on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell if you find these videos useful. It'll email you whenever I do a video. And I do videos weekly, Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Weekly. So the scenario here is you want to be able to have more flexible addresses but you don't necessarily know how to do that and you don't understand how SAP approaches it. So I'll show you how I always set up my addresses and my best practices on how to make it work the best. So let's take a look at our sales orders. Take the last one. Logistics. So you can see here that we have the ship to address, say, and we have a little gap there. Well, the thing about that gap is that gap is the key to the whole process. So you might say, oh, that looks ugly and I don't like it. But the reality is that is the best way to approach it, okay? So I'm gonna show you why you need that gap. So first we're gonna look under modules, administration, setup, Business Partners, Address Formats. I'm going to find Canada. So you can see I've used Street and Street Number. So the first one will be Street, the second one will be Street Number, City, State, Zip, and Country. Okay, so let's look at that in relation to the Business Partner. So you don't have to use Street and then Street Number, but if you look here, let's go to the address, I have just renamed Street, and we can click View, System Information. Street, you can see down in the bottom left corner, CRD1 Street. I've just called that Address Line 1. So that becomes Address Line 1. Address Line 2, I've made Street No. So Street No is Address Line 2. So you can put other things in there. I've done an example, Attention Mike Taylor, and Address Line 2, so I have fully two lines. So I can do them that way. So as long as you hold control and then you could double click these labels, you can rename them for the whole system. And again, this is dangerous if you are just randomly changing your uh, titles. Uh, if you're not a system administrator, just watch out because this changes the titles for everybody in the whole system. So I just rename these across the whole system, control and then double click it, hold control, double click the label, just type in address line one, hold control, double click the label, address line two. So you can see again, address line one lines up with street and address line two lines up with street no. Okay, that's very important for working on this later. So you can see when it outputs the Canadian address, and you would have to do this obviously for the US if you're in the US or any of the other countries, um, this is typical to North America. I actually don't know if this is common. You could do this. You could use this trick for any region in the world or anything you really want to store. So you'd see here you have the street was output. The address line two is blank. But again, you don't just want to remove those and you don't need to. In fact, if you're using B1UP, you should disable people being able to click in here at all. So add -on, administration, add-ons, B1 usability package, configuration, toolbox configuration. So what you can do here is in usability, you can disable document address fields. So I'm gonna go back to the sales order and I'll show you what that does, which is my preferred way of doing this. Last document, logistics. So now what happens is if I try to click in here, Ooh, it opens up my actual using of the address components. And I've renamed it in here, address line one, address line two, city, state, everything is all matched up. You can also get there by clicking this ellipses button. If you override this or even just try to remove that blank row, 
you are going to destroy that address for analysis later. You're going to turn it into just a string. It will no longer store these pieces of the, of the addresses. So you think you're doing a great job by removing that. You say, oh, I'm going to just change this. It looks so nice. In reality, just leave it. Yeah, I mean, it looks a little bit ugly when you're looking at it, but it works out well in the end, and I'll show you why. So we're going to print preview. And you see, oh, geez, where did that gap go? Okay, and then you go like this. Number two, number two has two rows there. Address line one as the name, address line one, address line two. So now you get to use address line one and address line two. And it works perfectly there. So it's shipping to, attention Mike Taylor, on Hornby Street in Vancouver. And everything looks great and works great. So when it's printed or sent to the customer, it is all good. So I'll show you how that works. Click the layout designer and you can do this too. SAP Business Objects order number four, edit. And I'll put this code in the uh, description below. So once this is loaded, you can double click in the address field. So we'll say address, edit, embedded field. This is Crystal Reports. I use replace in the address when there, it, when there are two carriage returns in a row, it replaces it with one carriage return. So because you're looking at this, let's go back to the original thing here. It goes carriage return one, two. So it puts two carriage returns in a row. So that just tightens that up and it fixes the address for you. So I just use replace, and I'll, again, I'll put this in the description below, two carriage, ret carriage returns with one carriage return. CHRW13 is a carriage return. So it's a little bit more complicated on the delivery address side. You could say if ordr.address equals ordr address two, use same as billing address, otherwise replace ordr address two and the same thing. Two carriage returns with one carriage return to remove blank rows. So you could have address line three, four, you could add whatever you want to strip that out of there and that code will remove it. So I'll put both of those in the footer. So to tie this all together, Remember, modules, administration, setup, business partners, address formats, find your country or the countries that you're working with. In this particular case, is probably more of a North American thing. I don't know around the world what it's supposed to be, but US and Canada. Set up your address format so you have street and street number or whatever. You can use street number and block. I used to use street and street number. It's just easy. Then match that and set up your field labels. So it's address line one and address line two. Match those two fields. So again, you hold your mouse, you push view system information, hold your mouse over the field and you find street. It will be actually named street originally, street PO box. Hold control, double click address line one, replace that address line one. Find your second one, this is street no, double click, street no, change it to address line two. Boom, clear up everything nice in there. I would click this ellipses button and I would also rearrange this and match street and street number and rename those to address line one, and address line two. And boom, you will have the solution. You just have to fix up your crystal reports layout. Again, I'll give you the code for the ship to address and the delivery address is very simple replace and you have a great solution there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that helps you a lot and clears up the line one, line two mystery. Some people also want to put contacts. You can put those below and do those separately. You know, obviously you're linking those from the OCPR table and the contact person of the document and stuff too. So you can link those in a separate thing. I don't necessarily like to put any other pieces of information in that address. Uh, I think that it is a lot easier to work with when you just have the address line one, address line two, and your standard stuff in there. So keep that in mind. Make sure you visit www.battleshipcover.com. Like, subscribe, share this video, turn on the notification bell if you don't come to YouTube all the time. Check out my podcast, podcast.battleshipcover.com.
I do weekly videos Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.